here with Norm. He's here with his really cool 1940 Chevy that his dad was the original owner on. Is that right? That's right. You want to tell us a little bit about it and how you found the radiator works? And We found the radiator works through the uh, Model T Ford Club, San Fernando Valley. Ostrogen. Very and, cool. Uh, I've been here before. And I'm back. I got you. <laughs> so let's tell talk, let's tell tell me about your car a little bit. It's really neat. It looks like it's original paint, right? Uh, the 40 Chevy Business Coupe, original paint, 83,000 miles, never been restored. Really, it's only got 83,000 miles on it, huh? That's it. It's a uh, it's a keeper. It's a shoulda kept car. Yep. The ones you shoulda kept. This is one of them. What Look are we gonna do on this again today? We're gonna. Uh, Flush her out and give her a. a We're gonna pop out that thermostat and do a power reverse a flush. Plant. Yeah, and see if we can blow some <laughs> of transfusion, that, water transfusion. Some of those old chunks of rust out of there and make it run cool again, huh? Please. Yeah. I wanna. I wanna, wanna tow my teardrop to Palm Springs with this in uh, February. Nice. Have a show. Yeah, yeah, it's not right. Well, well, the Father's Day thing here. Norm, is it okay if I open the door? Do you mind? Yeah, uh, original upholstery. Is that right? Change the headliner, that's it. So this is the Special Deluxe, is that right? Uh, it's the Special Deluxe Business Coupe. So the Special Deluxe probably had the wood, this, um, this radio, heater, uh, other accessories. So radio in 1940 was a pretty big deal. Yeah, it still works. Does it really? Amazing. Yeah, check the time. <laughs> And it still has all the original cord type wind lace yep. in it. Side panels are original. I did the headliner. Uh, yeah, these are very difficult. This material, whatever, for whatever yeah. reason. Yeah, it's one of the toughest things to keep without them going bad. Well, I put some cedar boards in it since, and, uh, like a cedar closet. It's got the original uh, cooler and ice chest, and the license plate from uh, Connecticut where the car was originally brought out from and now it's a California car living in the sunshine Took the snow shovel out of the trunk and threw it away <laughs> what's amazing this is a pre-war Chevy that's never been touched even the bumper even the chrome on the bumper looks good and it has the I'm, I'm not sure if the red striping was part of the special deluxe yeah, package yeah. and it's also on the wheels right and the white walls are of course period correct just look really neat with the details on the, yeah, the bow tie, the badge, the do red, and I'm assuming maybe this cool vent this uh, might be part of it because this looks like it's part of this uh, oh, badging yeah. here. Yeah. Really neat. Awesome. And it's an inline six. Yep. Uh, one or two barrel carburetor on these. One. It's probably six volt. I take it. Six volt, two sixteen uh, cubic inch engine. Three and speed a, and an oil bath air cleaner, right? Is that what? Yep. Yeah. I mean the decals too. Still original. Yeah, it's very clean in here, and you can tell the car's never been in any kind of a accident or wreck. And the no, no. running boards are huge on these. I have new uh, rubbers for the running boards. And What's amazing is how well the black lacquer paint holds up on these old cars. If they've been garaged, it's just really neat. Okay, check this out. This car can still be started with a crank handle. Is that right? Yeah. That's your dead battery start, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, some people don't believe that, but it's real. That's pretty neat. Well, Norm, thank you so much right, for spending a few minutes and uh, bringing it to the radiator works. This is, they do a lot of cars like this, a lot of trucks from an original owner, imagine. Um, son of. Son of, but still original <laughs> family. Family, yeah. Bringing a car like this because they trust the radiator works. And uh, Norm, thanks again. Really appreciate it.